Salve Maria! Most of you watching this video may already know about the fascinating miracles and the untiring apostolate wrought by St. Francis Xavier in the Orient. But today, I am not going to speak about any of that. Today we are going to look at one of the greatest miracles performed by St. Francis Xavier, a miracle that he performed even before setting foot on Indian soil. You may be wondering, but brother, St. Francis Xavier raised a man from the dead when he was in India. What miracle can be greater than raising a man from the dead? There is one miracle greater, converting a hardened and obstinate sinner. But how so? Well, by converting a hardened sinner, one literally snatches a soul from the firm grip of the devil and makes it a dwelling place of God. It causes a complete change in one's course. What was once a soul which was far, far away from God is now a son or a daughter. And that's the story I'm going to share with you today. How St. Francis Xavier converted a hardened sinner on the ship en route to the Orient with a game. St. Francis Xavier, commissioned by St. Ignatius of Loyola to the Orient, was to reach his destination on a Portuguese ship. Full of zeal for souls and love for God, St. Francis Xavier didn't want to waste any time. He began preaching to the crew members and to all those who were aboard about God, Our Lady and the many marvels of heaven. Everyone on board was touched and enchanted by his preaching. Many who hadn't prayed for several years were now fervent in prayer. Many who hadn't confessed for several years were now frequenting the sacrament of confession. Apart from the supernatural graces that God bestowed on the people, the people were also won over by St. Francis Xavier's natural gifts of eloquence and his attractive personality and charisma. People used to flock to him at any given part of the day to hear about God. In this way, St. Francis Xavier managed to convert everyone on board, except one man, the captain of the ship. He was a very problematic person, a person with an unbearable temper. Nobody wanted to be with him. Apart from this, he had several other vices. Immorality, rage, blasphemy, drunkenness. He was a terrible man, one you would want to stay far away from. Anyway, this man had a very huge obsession. His obsession was chess. Yes, he was so obsessed with chess that he would spend hours together playing chess and doing nothing else. One day, St. Francis Xavier saw the captain playing his beloved game and there was a huge crowd gathered around him to watch him play. And St. Francis Xavier went to the place where he was sitting and started preaching. And guess what happened? Everyone who was watching the captain play now turned their atten attention to St. Francis Xavier and started listening to his preaching. The captain was furious. He said to St. Francis Xavier, who do you think you are? Why are you disturbing me? Get away from here! St. Francis Xavier tried to calm him down, but he would have nothing of it. He then came up with an idea to humiliate the saint. He challenged him to a match of chess. St. Francis Xavier then told him, Sir, I have never played a game of chess in my entire life. I don't know how to play chess, but I accept your challenge, but under one condition. If I lose the game, I will stop preaching about God entirely on this ship. But if I win, your soul is mine and you will have to convert. The man was taken aback. He knew that it would be very easy to defeat the saint in a game that he was an expert of. And thus the challenge was accepted. The people who were witnessing the conversation were very sad. Now they would never hear the saint preach again because it was impossible to defeat the captain at chess. Or so they thought. The captain, on the other hand, was elated. He started arranging his pieces already with an air of pride, considering the inevitable outcome. St. Francis Xavier said a small prayer and began the game. The captain was shocked to see that St. Francis Xavier made a legal move. As time went by, the saint was playing with tremendous confidence. A lethal move of a knight here, a rampaging castle there, a strategic move of the bishop. The captain was struck with the fear of losing the game and in very little time, St. Francis Xavier uttered those words that he had never pronounced but had only heard several times. Checkmate. 
the game was over and the challenge was won by the saint the captain was embarrassed but at the same time indignant he said to saint francis you lied to me you told me that you don't know how to play saint francis even smiled and replied indeed my friend i have never played a single game of chess in my entire life but who won now was not me but god i asked him for help and he gave it to me now as per our agreement your soul is mine you have to convert the man broke down weeping bitterly he prepared for his confession with the help of saint francis xavier confessed and changed his life and became one of saint francis xavier's greatest followers so what can we learn from this story god never gives up on us he never loses hope in us no matter what our state of life may be and many times our obsessions are beyond a fanatical love for chess immorality anger hatred jealousy greed worldliness immodesty what not but god never gives up on us he always wants to save us and for this he always gives us grace let us ask our lady that through the intercession of saint francis xavier that we may have the grace to change our lives and if we are already on the right path that we may not become complacent with where we are but always strive to be more virtuous and holier praying for you and asking you to pray for us too hope to see you in the next video salve maria